Hi everybody, it's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And today I wanted to react to some of the recent videos that have been released by Sarasota Tim, because Sarasota Tim is very upset at the moment. Uh, he is hating on the haters and he is getting a lot of views for it though. Uh, he's released now two videos. Uh, the first one, we're going to go in about 30 minutes into the video because that's the part where he asks his subscribers to start mass reporting creators like myself who really only try to call out his scamming behaviors, uh, his flim flamming, and, <laughs> and then, uh, not to laugh, but there is another video he released today, a shorter one that we'll take a look at where he gets very upset because somebody left a review on a business that he visited. And I certainly do not condone that type of action, but it uses a lot of the language that obviously we use here on this channel to describe some of Tim's behaviors. And I think if he got a little bit more honest about where he received his EIDL loan, he talked about spending it on paying off debt, on buying, you know, which is not the purpose of the EID alone, unless it was business debt. And I don't think it was. I think he paid off personal debt. And I have always wanted to know, how was he able to secure $58,000 when he had been unemployed for a couple of years at that time, did not have an active business running, and had been selling oil change coupons door to door? I want to know where was that money invested? Because I don't think it was invested into the business, which was the purpose of the EIDL loan. So anyway, that said, <laughs> let me put out my fair use. I know that uh, there's some controversy as to whether it does anything, but I just always want to know people to know that this is a video only for entertainment purposes and entertainment purposes only. And I do these videos for entertainment, somewhat educating around looking at individuals who do try to use their YouTube platform uh, to potentially benefit themselves. Not that I don't get benefits. I just got invited into the um, high five club of YouTube where they send you like special perks every month. And I'm happy to show that too at the end. So I'm trying to make this video not too long though. All right. So yeah, let's just get, oh, get into this uh, threatening emails. I have sped Tim up to 1.25 and I skipped about the first 30 minutes. Uh, it really just spoke about how he's very upset because his friend Brock is not wanting to show up on camera. He doesn't want to have Tim promote a business venture he has. And Tim is basically getting the same type of silly emails that we've been receiving as creators, like I've received about Tim's third wife, the legal action. Uh, I got one the other day from Johnny Vegas. We also all got an email from Margaret apologizing. It's, it's, he's feeding into people and they're going to do it more to him. So he's just not enjoying his YouTube infamy at all. All right, Tim, take it away. They're just wasting their time. But when someone personally, uh, like, like that happens and hurts their feelings and stops them, what they think. It's not going to stop him. He's going to be blessed by it, believe me, because God is good. And so he's talking about how Brock is going to continue, but he obviously does not want to associate himself with Sarah Taylor Tim. And I think that's a wise decision, Brock, because Tim's got a little bit of a shady background, especially around that EIDL loan. And he also left a gun in the side of his car, didn't lock the car up, and the gun was stolen. It was found, but it was stolen. So he's he's got some very questionable behaviors. Also, his buy me a coffee. We'll get into it. Let me not talk. Let me let him play. And you, like I said earlier, do you really think that anybody that does these vulgar things? What, what else was I was going to share with you guys? Because I've been wanting to make a video for a long time talking about the horrible, horrible things that have been attempted to be done. Uh, I would like to know, since this video actually got 10,000 views, which is much higher than you've recently been getting on any of your videos, Tim, has it? how much money have you made from it? Maybe a little bit of honesty uh, would go a long way. Done um, by these people. Uh, 
I mean, I try to forget them because it's just, it's just horrible. But I don't know who they are and what their, what their deal is or why they're so butthurt or they don't like the truth. I guess it's just what everybody keeps saying. They're absolutely envious of anybody that's happy, that's making some money, that's living a good life, that believes in God and is promoting kindness and positivity. They're literally evil in this world, folks. We see it towards Donald Trump. We see it towards a lot of people. We see the media All right. as the absolute. Uh, okay. Uh, your hubris is enormous. Uh, you are. Nobody is jealous of you, Tim. <laughs> I can promise you. I have a very good career tra trajectory. I work as a registered nurse. Fortunately, I'm back at work after an extended illness. So I'm excited about that. I just got a. Uh, bonuses from YouTube. There's a lot that you get suddenly when your channel starts to do, do well. So thank you to all my 3,600 plus subs. Maybe it's 36,000. Maybe my mouth health. Nope. Sorry. My math, my math is off. Goodness me. I can't talk today. I can't talk today at all. It's hard for me to talk anyway. So we're going to keep him going. All right. Keep going, Tim. Sorry. I was clicking around on something. I apologize. Enemy. Yeah, of this channel. country. I mean, they are absolutely the enemy of this country. And I have to tell you that uh, if you pay any attention to it, it will absolutely, hey doggy, it will absolutely get into your head um, if you watch that media. They are on full, full throttle right now on both sides. And while I- Okay, so what does the media and the news, which I saw the news was on your uh, TV screen the other day when I did a reaction live uh, and had it uh, with, you know, a live stream basically. So you watch the news quite regularly. You know far more about what's going on in the world than I do. I really don't have time to watch the news. And uh, you're the one informing me of all these things, Tim. So I think you're the one who's getting yourself worked up from watching the news. Back off from it, mate. Take your own advice. Being towards conservatism, conservative, conservative values. Um, I'm against what they're doing too and what they're saying. I mean, they're beating a dead horse. They're just, it's back to the name calling. You know, I was telling somebody the other day, you remember four or five presidents ago, uh, they would come out and they would say, with a piece of paper and a pen, this is the direction and what I want to do for our country. I want to put a man on the moon. I want to. I'm still trying to figure out how Tim is always associating himself with, with past presidents, but he does because he has hubris about him and he is always unique and special. And, and Tim is the only one obviously getting threatening emails and phone calls. When we talked about the one that we received and that Tim had been CC'd on, he never addressed that. He never addressed on a general blanket that people shouldn't do this. And I wouldn't recommend doing it to Tim, but I was CC'd or I was included on the same email from Miss Margaret that he was included on. And now he's like getting upset because it's, it's, stopping him from getting like his little d deals with he, these uh, subscribers of his. And the thing that I find is that when he does these reviews and so forth, he, he did mention clearly he wasn't paid for one, but you're still promoting a business. So in, in reality, it does include a promotion. And I don't know if you're actually notifying YouTube when you're doing these reviews that it's a promotional video. I guess it's not a paid promotion, and that's we'll put that little tag up there. But he certainly, I think, wants to get some type either views to his channel. Uh, anyway, keep going. I'll be here for build it. more highways. I want to build a bigger building. I want to do this. I want to do that. Uh, I want to do this to help the economy. I want to drill. I want to. These are ideals that I want to do. Now you don't hear any platform at all. All it is is he's a scumbag and she's a scumbag and they're scumbags and they're racist and they're this. That's all they do. It's just name calling. There's no, I mean, what do I vote on? The fact that you call, you said the best uh, name calling. Uh, you, 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 you really, uh, I mean, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. So I think I've beat this video to death on what I'm trying to say, but here's how you can help. Join me. You can do a couple of things. Hmm. This is the part you really need to pay attention on. Hmm. <clears throat> the way you get rid of hate is you ignore it and you report it. Report and ignore. Okay. Okay, so this is the part where he's basically telling his subscribers to start mass reporting creators like myself. 
And that is actually could potentially lose you your channel, Tim. You understand if, if there are mass reports coming in and there's no credibility behind that reporting and you're just, and you'll listen, you actually could lose your channel. So just be cautious when you're here making videos, telling people to mass report. It's a, it's a no, no in YouTube world. I am a reaction commentary channel. I make commentary around the types of behaviors such as this that you display. And obviously, starting to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I am interested in P, that I am media and how it's definitely linked more with narcissistic personality types. So I have a fascination. People always ask, why do you make videos? Uh, it's usually probably somebody who's a, a fan of Tim. <laughs> Earlier in the video, I said, if I were to slander your son, your daughter, your mom, your father, how much more would you watch me? It's not slander. All right. So maybe you don't know me personally and you are going to watch those channels. But you. It's not slander when you actually spoke openly on your channel and said that you used your EIDL loan to pay off debt. That's not slander. That's just reporting what you said. There's videos of it still. You might have taken it down, but there might be copies of it kicking around. We know they're all. So maybe you should truthfully talk about your EIDL loan again, but you ignore that, don't you? Wouldn't watch them at all and you report them if those channels started saying some things about your family members. So think of it that way. If you are a moral person and you care that they're slandering and defaming uh, unjustifiably people they don't even know, then when you click on their videos, even though they're not making much money because they're not really, I don't even know if they're monetized, but you're, you're giving them more ammunition by looking at their, uh, at their video. So the thing is, when you see that in your feed, you can click the three dots, have someone help you, and it'll go down to the about page, click on their channel, and click on the three dots in the top right. If you go down far enough, you'll see a word that says report and report them for harassment, bullying. And see, this will get your channel in trouble, Tim. So thank you for that. Because this could be considered harassment and bullying, that you're telling your subscribers to mass report all channels. And yes, my channel is monetized. And yes, I do make money. And yes, I get to enjoy the YouTube perks that I have for being a YouTube partner that YouTube is, is wanting to show its thanks to me. So today I got invitation to that. I've also had a brand deal, I guess, because I got to do a review of a, of a wonderful recliner. God, that thing. <laughs> I know it was sent as a review, but I promise you, at the end of the day, that thing giving me a, that heat, heated massage is just the best. And I am very grateful to the people that watch my channel and my content because I am enjoying these perks. I have openly showed how much I make, how much I get for RPM. I'm going to be showing how much the video that you, I reacted to where you tried to equate creators like myself with a person who had was, I believe, was being treated for mental illness and tried to assassinate a former president and killed a firefighter along the way. I am going to be donating that money. I'll show how much exactly how much I made and I will donate that to the family fund that they have on GoFundMe. I've clearly said that because ethically, I don't feel good making any type of money from that video. But what are you doing with your earnings? So to, to, to assume that none of us make money from this channel is, is wrong, okay? From this platform, I apologize. And then hit send and it will go to Google. And if all 130,000 beautiful souls out there were to start reporting these hateful channels uh, towards or me or anybody, any, anything you see is bad, report all YouTube. Uh, videos that are absolutely spreading nothing but hate. Hmm. Well, folks, you can do, you can be a part of it. You can be a part of a grassroots movement to turn this country around. And You're asking your subscribers to potentially lose their account with YouTube by doing this. You'll go to YouTube jail for this, Tim. The, YouTube is very clear about this. So you kind of overstepping your mark here. There have always been reaction channels, especially with problematic creators like yourself who potentially prey on lonely, vulnerable, and elderly people. 
and get them to send you money. And don't have honesty about how much you make from YouTube, which you don't have to, but it would help in this situation probably. How you acquired so much money on that EIDL loan. There's so many things that I could say. <laughs> I'm going to let him keep and talking. Just stop it. You know, by letting it just run amok, oh, like they've been allowed to do, I think that Google must see uh, those reports, but maybe if they get a bunch of them, they'll wake up and start doing something because mm. it seems like, you know, they're still mm. doing it. Mm. So anyway, join me. Don't watch them. Just go on the channel and report them and report them as bullying and uh, harassment. For? Uh, there's even uh, other things you can click there. But they've sent out uh, an email, a fake email, saying it was from me to all these other people on YouTube out there, like mostly all the other haters. And it said that I'm going to do something to them or I made a threat to them, when in fact, the email is totally not my email. It's got the first part right. Then they change a little bit of the end of it, which makes it not my email. And anyone, you know, any, um, what do you call, server or person or legal person that searches that uh, domain. Well, you could have more than one email account. I certainly do. I have like a, quite a few actually for different purposes. So, and uh, content is made. And I think at the time I said it was seemed like a joke. <laughs> I was laughing about it, but you know, so, and the, the part that I pointed out is you were CC'd on it. So you could have addressed that earlier. Now you're finally addressing it. Okay, interesting. We'll see. That's not that's not an email that came from any of my devices or an email that belongs to me. There's a Facebook uh, page that I've reported is impersonating me. It's got my picture. It's my picture on Facebook. And it's got my like, followers and all this stuff posted on there of like my recent videos and all these comments. There's stuff on. Uh, I saw today. I started searching. I've never done this on uh, Reddit. They got forums. These people are so into hate, folks. They're all over the internet, just seething and gnashing of their teeth, just just sitting there. Well, you're feeding into it right now. You've given them so much fodder on Reddit about this. I'm going to have to go check that forum out now. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. I don't mean to laugh, but now I'm going to go check out the uh, Sarasota Tim Reddit forums. Thank you, Tim, for that tip. Typing. They always go. So they these, they just keep few, them in investigation few. going. It's not on. like I'm making it like there's this big community out there because there isn't. But they're screaming loud. They're creating multiple channels, <clears throat> multiple email names, and creating it like it's a big, a big thing. Meanwhile, I continue to succeed. Meanwhile, I continue to get blessings. Meanwhile, I'm totally happy. No, Me you. Yeah, you look real happy at the moment, Tim. <laughs> Meanwhile, I take all the uh, precautions that someone needs uh, personally and uh, physically uh, for safety and security. And I'm well prepared and I'm a lot wiser now. But it's just a shame that anyone that just wants to share life with somebody on YouTube, and I know it all comes with it and I don't care about that. But when it starts affecting other people or tries to hurt other businesses, uh, it's got to stop, folks. It's got to stop. And you can help. No, that hurts you because you can't make content about it and you're not getting something in return. Because you you definitely, you know, still complaining about that $53 that you spent paying it forward at the McDonald's. Like, you really don't, everything, and then you want to talk about it. Anyway, you know, that's not an act of Christianity. That's what I, uh, uh, you, anyway, I'm trying to make this quick. <laughs> if you care, or if you want to put yourself in my shoes, or my friend's shoes, or a business's shoes, if it was you, if it was your family, your children, or anybody, that you knew and they were defaming and disparaging and slandering them you would be so hot under the collar you'd want to did you not think to put your microphone on your little wireless thing so the sound quality would be better for your audience i mean i you know at least you got that nice microphone uh-oh uh-oh look what i did and i didn't mean to uh-oh i <laughs> i'm gonna have to bring out judge mathis for me no, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bagging. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Somebody said I dry begged for a wireless microphone the other day when I mentioned I didn't have one. It does sound like a dry bag, and I deserve Judge Mathis at that point. <laughs> Except I'm not really dry begging for it. I'm just having to say, uh, and it's just. <laughs> Sue, you'd want to get legal action. You'd want to do something. I mean, you would probably think a lot of things. <sighs> but do the right thing and uh, join with me. 
Um, I know you, a lot of you, I see what you see on YouTube. A lot of you, though, have met me. A lot of you can tell that Miss T and I are nothing but just regular folks like you, mm -hmm. uh, getting through the world, doing all we can do to survive and in our own way to spread uh, a little bit of happiness and some smiles. How is this spread? You haven't spread any happiness or smiles in quite some time, Tim. I'm sorry. I'm just going to disagree with you on that. Your content's been pretty miserable. For free. Uh, they make fun of the, uh, the the links that I have, that all YouTubers have, that you can support the channel with the Buy Me A Coffee link, which oh, is oh, uh, nothing go. more than a Patreon account or something. Well, I don't have to bring out Judge Mathis again. <laughs> many, many YouTubers have. They do very well on YouTube. They yeah, still have support. We do. I'm going to show mine in a minute. Give. Uh, there's the Amazon link that doesn't cost anybody anything that can help the channel out. And these these YouTubers that are way bigger than me do very well. And they still ask you to use their Amazon link and buy products through Amazon that are linked to them and they get a commission. I mean, corporations don't have enough. They're all wanting more money. Jeff Bezos wants more money. Everybody wants to make money. But, you know, it's, it's legitimate. And it's nothing that is, you know, obligating you or giving you some guilt about. If you feel like you would like to... Uh, support the channel with the buy me a coffee link, which many of you've done. Oh yeah, you know that's on you. You do it. Good for you. I I, I do this. Well, Tim, you specifically say it's to to pay it forward, and you are very. I guess you are then complaining. You get hundreds of dollars, and then you complain that you cannot spend more than twelve dollars on your pay me a forward, and you do that in the McDonald's drive through. For some reason, it's always McDonald's, which Tim gets things on his app and extra bonuses by using McDonald's. So there's still something that you're getting from even doing that. And then you want rec big recognition from it. So it's not an act of being a good Christian where you are out potentially feeding the homeless with that money and then just not talking about it. Because that's what good Christians do. They don't brag about any time they do an act of charity. And it's not even really an act of charity. You're expecting some type of return, either the person to confirm and wave and, and you know, be so grateful that you did this thing. And you literally turn around and say, oh, I just know I made that person's day. So, I mean, it's a game when I think of it in, in the sense of narcissistic personality traits. I do speculate that that's something that you definitely have very strongly, that you have to be receiving something from it. And I mean, in a big way, too. You need to feel special and unique. So every creator, I have buy me a coffee and I'm going to show uh, who recently donated to mine. I'm happy to share that. I have no, and anybody could probably get, click on your link and see what you're making if they chose to. But it's the fact that you specifically say that it's to pay it forward or that you've gotten clothing from people through it. It's it's kind of the way you, you handle it, Tim, that is so much more problematic and your lack of honesty along with it. You do appear to be very dishonest in my speculation. Same thing every day. I try to do it this morning at Wawa. I do it every day. I pay it forward. And so those kinds of acts of kindness are just something that is over and above. But right. the Amazon link is just something that Same. doesn't cost anybody anything. It's just that it helps uh, uh, support me to continue uh, doing what I'm doing. If I can support you, I certainly will. That's why I try to do what I did for uh, these businesses that I promote. That's what I try to do, do you with the restaurants, you, you know, um, every, everything. Uh, people, I'll lift them up. They got a YouTube channel, uh, promoted uh, the guys I met out in California when I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And anything that I can do. I mean, I'm only a little guy. But I understand that if we all kick in, it all helps. And it's just like one vote at a time. And turn off that media. Turn off negativity. Report it. Ignore it. And remember to always crush it. Are you are you trying to also report the uh, – are you trying to also report, like, Fox News and CNN? I mean, that's wild. All right. So let me just get over to this next video. Um, I'm going to make sure he's sped up. Um, he's 1.25 just because I don't want to make this video too long. My my viewers don't like a long video, Tim. And that was 40. I'm surprised he got 10,000 views, but I'm sure he made good money on it. Uh, he's definitely always going to, you know, monetize, monetize, monetize. Okay. So expose fake review and hate channel uncovered. He's not uncovered anything, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think. Anyway. 
Uh, keep going, Tim. Hey, how's it going, You're everybody? Raving. Sarasota Tim. Coming to you from beautiful uh, Siesta Key Village. Uh, they're going to bring a video to you uh, with all the different stores and what you can do and shop and play. Folks, this is my last video, but I just had to do it because, as I expected, and we will be uh, prosecuting and building a case with all correspondence and negative, fake, slanderous reviews uh, from towards businesses that I interview on my YouTube channel. So this morning we made a video of a bagel place over in Sarasota. I asked for permission. I'm curious which attorney that watches your channel is going to be picking up that case. I don't think there's much of a case. I think Google is very well aware of people putting, you know, comments that are not necessarily truthful. But this comment, I don't condone this behavior, but the comment was pretty spot on to you. I wouldn't put it on somebody's business, though. I certainly would never want to hurt somebody's small business. But since you're so infamous, Tim, and you are coming with problematic behaviors, particularly around that EIDL loan, is, I think, probably one of the most heinous things that you've done to the American taxpayer. Taking $58,000 in an EIDL loan that you paid off personal debt, probably, personal, because I don't think you had a business because you've been unemployed for a couple of years, and bought depreciating assets like vehicles and RVs. So maybe talk about how you were able to secure $58,000 in a loan. And then you talk about being debt free. Well, you still owe supposedly three hundred dollars a month every month, unless you've paid off that fifty eight thousand. You know, then I would thought you would be tooting your horn by now. But I think you were thinking you could just take that debt to the grave. Mission to make the video, and I talked to the nice uh, individual there that uh, spoke with me briefly about the bagels. This was a great place, and uh, we we purchased some bagels there. We enjoyed it. There was plenty of parking, and they're very nice. And we just like helping people out. There's nothing I get from it. I don't charge for it. It's just, it's content for me, and it also helps out them. And that's what we're about on this channel. Well, you you were supposed to let uh, YouTube know if you're doing any type of promotion. And you're very openly telling people that you're promoting these businesses, whether it includes paid promotion or not. But you need to be clearly putting that in your description boxes. Channel is to uh, spread kindness, free smiles, positivity. But we've got some people out there that we talked about yesterday that are called hate channels. And we, we mentioned a person's name, Margaret, Jimmy, Johnny, Lori, whoever they are. It doesn't even matter. Uh, they're under a different fake name this morning. And they sent a, a review to Google. It's just a vulgar, vulgar, I'm going to read it to you, a disparaging review towards this business. As expected, it's being uh, saved and will be turned over to the authorities. Well, see, Tim, what you are doing is egging these people to do more of it because they're going to feel like they got some satisfaction from seeing you standing here being angry. That's why I stopped showing any of the emails that these people send because we get them. And somehow I had uh, gotten mass spammed into my email account. Somebody did that too. And I just deleted it unsubscribed. You can't get upset. If you're going to come out on a public platform like YouTube, you're going to have to anticipate that you're going to be held up and people are going to look into you. That's kind of how the world of YouTube goes. You cannot go into it naively. That's why I don't really talk so much about my personal life. I mean, maybe I do a little more than I even want to, but that is something that you have to be very conscientious of when you come on to, a, especially somebody as problematic as you are. And, and you are somewhat problematic in my opinion. Uh, of the file that we're com compiling because we've had enough of these crazy people. But you can help folks and going in and leaving positive reviews uh, if you're in the area, only if you're in the area and you've experienced uh, uh, eating at um, Jersey Girls Bagels in Sarasota on University Parkway. Uh, please take the time to leave a review. Uh, also, uh, please report these uh, YouTube channels and under cyber uh, bullying and harassment and slander. Uh, well, I'm going to have to report this to YouTube, I'm afraid, Tim, because you're not allowed to encourage your audience to mass report. That could put you in YouTube jail. And you could be having your channel, uh, you know, I think they do it a week and then two weeks and then when you get your third strike, you, you lose your channel. You're not supposed to do that.
You're going to get yourself in trouble, There man. is something that has to be done. This one person uh, that owns probably many of those channels wrote this five minutes after the video went up. They literally sit there with panted breath waiting for my videos okay. to go up sure that laughing. Uh, so that they can uh, say something. So they gave it a one-star rating. They, they're, they're in West Palm Beach, I think, this person. Uh, they're not even in the area. And they wrote this crazy and who knows where they are they could put, put that you know people can have vpns and they can put a, a location wherever you want in the united states when you have a vpn access and they could have put that they're in the florida area and then sent the google review in so it's not very difficult to get around that i you know i learned with the domain thing that everything looked like it came out of google's corporate office so some of these people with their computers and the technology can skirt around a lot of these different things. So I, I certainly wouldn't be getting this stressed out about it. You're going to give yourself an aneurysm, mate. YouTube will take it. Google will, will remove this uh, comment. Absolutely not. The GM is supportive of Sarasota Tim, the disgraced elder fraud abuser, EIDL fraudster and deadbeat dad. Tim sarasota tim aka is a it's almost it's almost sweet justice to hear him have to say these things from his mouth in my opinion because he has to you know really he's why would you be out here reading that tim uh, address them the eid alone address you know your relationship with your two i mean you've let people know so much about your life unfortunately you know that's the that's the difficulty with becoming a public figure and becoming infamous local flim flam man the elder who who defrauds the elder now i should take credit for the use of the word flim flam because i was the one who put that one out more into the lexicon so i apologize for that tim but you are a flim flammer and for that we're gonna have to play something very special so just hold on one minute please flim flam noun a trick or deception especially a swindle or confidence game involving skillful persuasion or clever manipulation of the victim. A piece of nonsense, twaddle, bosh. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's what a flim flam is, Tim. Yes, I'm glad that word is being used. Thank you, Norway. Quarterly on YouTube and search Sarasota Tim haters to find out the truth on Tim. Why would this low quality and hard to park establishment use sarasota tim as their new spokesman i use them i would not condone uh, saying this about a small business i do want to preface that that i would not want to hurt anybody's business one thing is you know coming after sarasota tim and making commentary around his problematic behaviors and potentially illegally getting an eidl loan but I certainly wouldn't want to involve a small business. So that that that's not nice. Don't don't play like that. That's not nice, people. Keep it to Reddit. Uh, to 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 create a video, and I asked for permission. They didn't ask me anything. Um, apparently, Tim is telling people it's his recipe for the bagels. Huh? <laughs> yeah, huh? Not He's not even Jewish. I know this. <laughs> He's not even a Christian. Oh, now they know my heart. Oh, okay, they know everything. Oh, we know you're not a Christian, Tim. That that part we know. Because no Christian would be hooking up with their friend's wife um, and, you know, call and telling people at the McDonald's drive through that Tammy's your wife when that's not even true. She's your girlfriend. And she was your girlfriend when she was married to another man. And most Christians, that is not something that they would think of very highly. You're not supposed to covet. And uh, there is... Uh, the Ten Commandments that you seem to not be keeping to. Tim was recently caught lying about an old acquaintance uh, from uh, Pop Stroke. Old acquaintance? I only met the guy once. <laughs> uh, Tim oh. said Tim tried to infiltrate his event. That's baloney. I was invited uh, to to help him. Uh, Tim said uh, his event, as well as only to be dropped when the ruse was found out. Please do not support Jersey Girl Bagels and its new spokesman, Sarasota Tim, a.k.a. Faker. Folks, this is, uh, like, abhorrent. This is crazy. It's probably a teenager, some young person, 
who's got, found their way onto Reddit and has found out this information. And, uh, you know, they're off for the summer at the moment. Probably had a blast. And, and they're watching you do this. And they're probably, really, like, rolling on the floor laughing. So good luck with that. Somebody mental uh, wrote that. Someone that's not, uh, making I'm sorry. legal. I'm sorry. You are not a mental health professional. And you do not have the licensure or certification to make that speculation. I am only trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner at this time, and I don't treat a diagnose. So you certainly cannot either. You certainly are far away from even having anywhere near close to that type of credentialing term. Uh, def defaming slanderous remarks towards me personally and a business that they've never even established. This place is not only new, only two years old and clean and wonderful, but there was a whole mall out there. Uh, I showed you in the video, you can see it and you can see the inside. Um, th there was plenty of parking, it's in a strip plaza. Everything this person says is a lie. They use a fake uh, username. Yeah, Please uh, combat these reviews. If you're in Sarasota and you've, uh, you, and you've used, and you've eaten, eaten at um, Jersey Girl Bagels, come by and support them. You know, the last time something like this ugly happened towards the Christian people at Chick-fil-A, people were lined up around the block uh, to buy a chick sandwich. Uh, well, I hope Jersey Girl does get good business. Uh, I Like I said, I certainly do not condone what was written in that, in that you know, mail. Uh, I would, I do not condone that type of behavior. So, but... Uh, I don't know if they're quite the same business size as a Chick-fil-A. I don't think, that, see, Tim, you always pick these situations where you are equating yourself to very large events and like your hater channels with the attempted assassination of somebody. It's And then you're always discussing people's mental health along with it, which is really not a good place to start getting into. Yes. Come on out and support uh, Jersey Girl Bagels and show who is the real winner and can really crush it. Okay. Thank you, Tim. All right, guys. So I did want to share a couple of the last things because this video got a little longer than I wanted. Um, so I'm going to share uh, my buy me a coffee. Let me share this tab and said, because I wanted to thank uh, Miss Kim here um, for her coffee donation recently. She said, awesome videos. I love that you don't give a give him a I love that I don't give him a view while you expose Tim for the scumbag he is well there you go Tim that's kind of what people are thinking and then I wanted to thank everybody too because I recently was invited into what's known as the high five partner and it is a value as a valued YouTube partner you're eligible for some top partner perks I did not even know this existed until I got the email. I've never heard anybody on YouTube discussing it. Certainly not Sarasota Tim. It says, over the next few weeks, we're going to send some little treats as a thank you for your efforts, which I was like, wow, that's really cool. So one of the things was that I get to enjoy a free small pizza from Domino's. So thank you to all my viewers and subscribers for making this possible for me. I am going to do a veggie thin crust with no cheese. And I'm going to enjoy that on the night of my birthday. I'm going to treat myself to a little bit of pizza because I know I've got to work that night and I've got to work the following day. So I appreciate that. And then, uh, of course, it was Alice Dock. So I was sad. But like I said, I just received this email. And you might have seen some creators have this. It was a limited edition neon light. Is the ultimate sign of YouTube approval. First come, first serve, so get yours fast. And obviously, <laughs> those things flew off the shelf. Flew off the shelf. Uh, I think I've even seen a short where the person actually uh, showed this one here, this collectibles person. So they even showed that um, in there. So this has been out for a little while. So I didn't get a chance to get this. I would have. It would have been fun. I must admit. You know, it, it's kind of a, it's a nice little uh, uh, recognition for the work that you do with YouTube. A lot of channels do not get the ability to get monetized. Uh, and so the fact that I've been able um, to do that, I really do appreciate. All right, guys, thank you for spending some time with me. I'm sorry this video got a little bit long, but Tim wants us all mass reported. I did want to thank everybody who is a channel member of mine. 
the good life folks who keep this channel going and the best vibes crew. I really appreciate you being members of my channel and for all the support that you give me. Thank you so much. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please subscribe to the channel, hit the likes, leave a comment, uh, leave me, uh, any type of comment you want. <laughs> I don't mind. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this out. Thank you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.